Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Engineer Hall. Today, we're going to take a look at a recent release, but you saw the Bluebirds. Now, I'm going to check out the CSX. And I got the AC4400. So I got the CSX number 17. And I also have the CSX420 uh, uh, here. Uh, we're going to take out the box, take a look at what we have, and compare the model to the prototype, and uh, see it run on the e Nietzsche Railroad. So, uh, stay tuned for uh, that there. So, we're going to slide this off the sleeve. Of course, you got that beautiful there, that big blue and that gold. Pop this out. Usual stuff you get inside. Limited to the warranty, warranty information here. You got your exploded part diagram here. And also, it, it tells uh, the parts list here also. The newsletter, as usual, the user's guide and sound manual. Let's get to the fun stuff. Plug 17. Always check here to see if you got anything extra. So you got extra rolling bearings here. And look like a antenna there and some lift rings if you can see that. Okay. Taking a look at the head of this locomotive for knowing it's a short hood. Uh, let me see that everything appears to be the same as far as the grab iron there, the windshield wipers, uh, sand filler hatches, grab iron is there. But when we get to the doors, it's slightly different. This has a, a red decal and this one has an arrow pointing down decal. Um, this uh, center still or anti glom climber here has a yellow strip this one doesn't and it appears to be the same here on the rest of the locomotive looking at the conductor side of the locomotive you see the difference between the, both of them as you see here starting up front where the conductor sit at you can see this uh, window seam here is silver and it's blue this one the difference in the AC unit here is uh, different this guy down here has a little bit more uh, detail under the center sill here and it's a different trucks. Coming across the electric cabinet here. The labels are different. Even the cabinet itself are different the tank is at. You got different fuel readouts here. It's pretty cool. And this has a, a step here. And this one uh, doesn't. Coming across the CSX logo is in different places. And also here. The labeling on this right here section is a little bit uh, different from one, uh, one another. Looking at the rear of this locomotive, it had the same but different. Starting with the 4020, it's come on down and appears to be the same. But the 4020 has a labeling right under the sand filler hatch and this one uh, does not. Come down a little closer here, this uh, center sill of this locomotive is painted yellow. But this guy only has the, uh, but it's painted here yellow on the sides. And you come it down to where you get your electrical jump cords. You have a hot and two dummies. The 17 has one hot and a one W cord. Uh, come down a little further, more to detail. Have different air hoses for the brake pipe. This one have a little angle. This one's uh, straight down. Looking at the engineer side of the locomotive, I we start here from the nose of the locomotive. They have a different sensing here. They built this plate. You have different vents here. The battery box section, a different stenciling. And an electrical cabinet here had different stencil also. But the vent here is uh, closed. This is the one that is open. Coming across, uh, you got your fuel rate out here. It's a little bit different. You got your emergency shut off here under the center still. And emergency shut off appears to be on the fuel tank. Or your sight glass here main reservoirs CSX logos at different locations there and this stencil here on this uh, radio section of the locomotive is a little different there here looking on top of the locomotive here the 420 appears to have tread here on the top of the hood the 17 doesn't the horns appear to be the same exhaust vents 
well, Zos, I shouldn't say, is uh, appears to be the same here. But you get to this cabinet, you see you got this vent here to the rear, and this uh, vent towards the forward. Uh, they do have the grip here on both of the locomotives on the uh, short electrical cabinet towards the short hood. Since in here appears to be the same, but uh, when you get up here, this one has a uh, grab bar, and this one doesn't. And also, you see the different detail on the uh, roof of the uh, locomotives here. Was a pretty cool uh, detail there. Here we're comparing the model to the prototype here. Uh, up top, we see had this uh, antenna array here. We also had that uh, conduit in black going from the electrical cabinet to the cab, which is here on the uh, model also. Pretty good. Coming up here, uh, see that we have another antenna here on the model, but it's not on the prototype. But this is taken back in... Uh, 2009 so just have a long lifespan so things can be uh, change here so you know the, this course pretty is all right come down the uh, got your uh, wire barn here windshield wipers with the ground barn protecting the windshield wipers sand fill hatches is here we're in the correct location now this uh nose mounted headlight is in the correct location as it is on the uh, model number boards looks good the door is on the correct side. Now on the door, it has label on here. Here, it also has it on the uh, model also. It's pretty good. Both had pilot mounted uh, dish lights with that uh, yellow sill here. Well, on this uh, anti-climber here. You can see here that you have a uh, hot and two dummies. And the uh, model has a hot and two dummies uh, also. Uh, coming down that it does have the yellow grab barns here on the uh, plow and it appears to be the correct uh, handrails on the uh, locomotive uh, coming down here the couplers here can be changed out to, to that one there so uh, it's not a really a big deal come over a little more now you see that you have your builders plate on the side also the cabinets here under the engineer side appears to be the same as it is on for the prototype you see that there coming down to the trucks appears they had the uh, same trucks here or both had struts on the front and the uh, rear axle and the slide was a little bit more we can see that the number 17 the bolt engine designation american flag mirror small mirror Right, that's pretty cool. Now we look over here with the electric cabinet with the three vents. One, two, three. And the open small one top of the door. Have the labeling here. Here and here. Have two. The model has two here also. The little notch here on that cabinet is also here on this um, model. Has the labeling here and the arrow pointing down is also here on the uh, locomotive. Now this the CSX logo. Two Stinsons here. There's two here also. C Z X S X S X X appears to be in a, a good location as this pairs uh prototype uh label here under the C which it is here on the uh prototype also and have labeling here but we get a better photo to uh check that out. Let's go here now this photo is taken back in 1999 so it's have a long uh lifespan here. So we went from 09 to 99 and uh, check out some more of these uh, stenciling here. See they are in the correct location. Slide this up here. And we have labeling here is yellow. Yep, white. One, two. There's one, two. As you see for the C, more on the bottom. But it's got stencil here in the C. I don't see it there. Uh, coming across, having a labeling here. And one in the back. But 99 had one here on the side, so things could have you know fell off. Come under the sill, you have the chain air reservoirs and the correct style of emergency shutoff, which is here. The fuel readout, sight glass, inlet, all appears to be here in the uh, correct uh, location. There, I got a photo of uh, March 9, 2007, here in uh, Ohio, coming down the side of the locomotive. As you see from the top, we do have our uh, silver going around the uh, window here. This is number 17. 
You got the engine designation and the American flag. Okay. Coming down more, you got the F designated for the front here. You have these little hooks that is here on the uh, model. Now you have the horizontal and vertical uh, vents here. The stents in here is not on this uh, on the model, but it is on the prototype. But you know things fall off. And you had two uh, panels here, which it is here on the model. And you had that one label here on that big panel here with the cutouts here, as it is on the uh, prototype. You got your lift pads here or jacking pads and stenciling here. Uh, looks pretty good as this per prototype. The two labels, that little panel here, it's pretty good. The lettering of course you come down this side here the fuel readout is a little different now this one well the bell is a steel bell here let's see the, the weld on the tank the sight glass emergency shut off and a fuel inlet but this side doesn't have the electrical readout here on this side come down the long hood and you have your label here and the label here on these two doors is correct and label here and here also in these uh, four panels here is correct here on the um, model and the one vent here it's pretty good and we have the handbrake with the label and high short and high and a label so the, this uh, model is, is pretty accurate to the uh, prototype and do you have your chainer as it is there on the uh, prototype the struts so yeah this is a pretty good one and I also forgot to say the speed readout is here on this uh, axle, this, the middle axle here as it is uh, per prototype. A little rear shot action uh, back in July 23rd in 09. Grab on here, ladder 17 on the edge. All right, high mounted rear light, center sample hash there. Come down CSX, looks good there. Uh, look like we do have our label here. As it is on a model, as a prototype. Uh, come here, more writing there on the center sill, and you see the jacket pad detail is here also. Um, can't really tell if it's a label actually on the prototype, but it's, it is on the truck, but it gets dirty, get covered up, so not really a big deal, but I'm glad to have a little detail here on the model. Taking a look at the heading of the 420, and this is taken back in December 9th, 2020 all right so we're taking a look at this uh, head of the locomotive that you see at the antenna uh, right here as it is this pro prototype see them sticking up come down of course you have your windshield wipers gasket all that good stuff there that appears to be same nose mounted headlight now the door the door has the stencil here on the bottom as it is a uh, pro prototype but if you go back to a photo back in January 50, 2008, the red label is not there. So, saying that to say stuff, like labels get added, you know, all the time. And um, we have it here on our uh, model, so depicted in the 2000s. Uh, coming down here, uh, we see that we have our hot and two dummies, as it is um, for prototype. I have your uh, yellow grab bar on the plow. Correct to be the seems to be the correct pile on this uh, locomotive. Coming here, we do have our um, sticker here, looking a good location, and also the uh, numbers. See how this is different fonts, and it is like that here on the uh, model, so it depicts this uh, locomotive uh, very well. Let's take a look at this locomotive back in December, sorry, October 5th, 2014, October in Philadelphia. So it was. Get you lined up here. Now looking at this uh, locomotive here, there we have our high mounted uh, headlight there. Sand filling high, high in the middle. The label on there as this for prototype. Come down here, you do have your uh, label in here as it is on the um, prototype here. You have your green for your dummy. Um, this does not have any dish lights here on the rear as it is for prototype, so it's pretty good, very accurate. Come down here, you see your uh, your trucks. Is the appears to be the appropriate trucks there for this uh, prototype. You have your uh, jacking path detail there. 
looking at the label and stencil here on this a locomotive that we have it here and it doesn't have it here on the uh, model but once again could have fell off and add it later um keep on going has to leave one there appears to be the correct hand break uh wheel detail here uh more stenciling here on the model as per prototype now the csx on this 420 is more towards the rear or the long hood but the 17 is more towards the sure hood of this locomotive. All right, come along. Let's check out this horn. The horn appears to be the correct as it is on the uh, model. A lot more stenciling here. Appears to be the correct location here. On the, um, the more labeling here on this electrical cabinet. I mean, these can come down to a tad bit more. Looking at it closely, it's a tad bit more, but it's, it's close enough. But one, two, just get in there and just move it down. A little weekend project, but it's not too bad. But it's close enough, but not quite close. Anyways, moving on. Stencing here on this uh, cabinet also on the back. It's pretty good. Three vents. The same paneling. The one, two, three paneling is there. And stenciling here in the American flag. And at some point, this uh, door was a replace here, and there's a blue here on the model, but it's Chris's the primary color on the uh, prototype. All right, taking a look at this locomotive that is back in March 12, 2013. And once again, that truck detail is, it looks uh, pretty good. I like the detail on the trucks as it is so on the prototype. Also, we had the builder's plates on the two uh, stickers there. Into the destination for 20 with a lightning bolt. It appears to line up. American flag. Now you have your two vents. It appears to be correct. The engineer window here has the mirror. The big one and a small one here. Window shade here. Got that uh, silver color on the window, which it is here on the uh, model. It's at good accurate detail there. Coming across, you do have your stenciling here on your electric cabinets here. Uh, coming down, you also have the extension here. You got the arrow pointing down, it's right here. Look good. Got the two labels here, two labels, and that blank. It's not on this one here. Okay, it's pretty good. Now, uh, getting over here toward the CSX, of course, on this uh, 420 is more to the rear, and the 17 is more to the uh, head end here. Um, looking at the stenciling here with the C. And the S and the X, uh, we do have a uh, stenciling here. This is going to come down to a tad bit more, but it is here on the uh, model. Not a big deal. If you want to change, you can change it up. One stenciling here. One, two, right there. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And that stenciling here on the high, short, nothing, nothing. And one on the high here and sh nothing is showing high but appears to be one little stencil here on the high side here on this uh locomotive but it's not a big deal if i want to add it i just add it on later uh coming down here now we have our labels here on our air reservoirs we have the electrical readout sight gauge and or sight glass and you do have your mer your emergency shut off here and also you have your a few inlet there. In September the 1st, 2007, we got an Akron, Ohio here. Looking at the conductor side of this uh, locomotive here. Uh, we see our 420 looking good. And it's destination, lightning the bullet, right correction, American flag. Have your event detail there as accurate on the model as in this prototype, the air conditioning detail, I should say. Um, also at the jack and pad detail, then very faint, you can see the reflective tape on the center sill of the uh, model and you have your uh, labels there in a correct location there you got your F there there's a name for the front is there um, truck detail looks of course look good come across got that steel bell on a fuel tank we have our uh, emergency shut off which is here uh, digital readout fuel inlet that's a cap or a vent and we have our gauge uh got this step here 
is all and with the label with the detail here and all in the correct location uh, CSX here um, and now on the prototype it doesn't have any labels on it but the model does if you don't like it take it off if not just leave it not a big deal CSX appears to be in the correct location and of course, once again you do see that you have your reflected tape here on the model as it is on the prototype I'm across you have your label here uh, before events this one doesn't have any lab labels but the model does the same and accurate will break detail and uh, vents and stenciling label here on this um, cabinet but not here on this uh, the model but it is on a prototype um, chain the detail here as a on a model but I think we see a little is that stencil in there as it is here on the uh, model as in the prototype.